Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Now with Windows Mixed Reality as well. Today we're going to do a review for Hollow Dance VR. Hollow Dance VR is one of the OG music rhythm games in VR. I believe I first bought this game in 2017. It's been a while. I don't remember what I paid for it. Uh, but now it's currently retailing for 20 bucks. It's on sale, 30% off. And it's available for every headset. Um, this is old school VR game that's been updated. Uh, the developer is very active. I had an issue actually with my gameplay. He fixed it uh, pretty quickly actually. Um, there's basically two parts to this game. There is a story mode and then you can play your own music as well. There's some uh, overlap with OSU. Uh, for those of you who like OSU, you might like this free mode a lot better. But I'm going to go ahead and show off the uh, story mode just to, just for a little bit. I'm not going to show off too much of this because I don't think it's all that interesting. I, honestly, if I was reviewing the story mode, I'd give this uh, music rhythm game a negative recommendation. But let's go ahead and just show off some of this. It's, it's a little interesting. Let's go ahead and just pick one environment. Uh, the more you play, the more environments, more maps that you unlock. Um... Uh, one of the boring things about this game is that you have to play the same map over and over again, but each time you just use a different instrument. But let's go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Now, there's like a little story. It's not that interesting, so we're not even going to pay attention to what the dragon is saying. Basically, he has four balls. We've played two of them. We're going to play the other two, which are just big, basic, differently instruments, the bass lines and the hi-hat. Okay. Now, one interesting thing, you see my, I'm using Windows Mixed Reality at the moment. I've tested this out on the Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. But you see my hand, my avatar hands, they're actually on the floor. <laughs> see the little gloves there, they're actually on the floor. It doesn't affect gameplay, but it's obviously a bug, an error that needs to be fixed, that hasn't been fixed. Uh, that's not an error that I complained about though, so maybe the, the developer will see this review and, and fix that. Now, the way you start this game is a little strange. You basically just shoot the ball at the dragon. It's not really intuitive that you're supposed to do that. And then you start... Uh, the music in story mode is not very good, to be honest with you. It's pretty boring. And the gameplay is a lot of this. It does get... It does get more difficult as you go along. Like, there's new elements added here. That's the new element added. You have to put your head through that little circle thing so that's the before that you're just catching balls and then you're doing this as well so that's the, that's the added difficulty uh, honestly this is just not very good and if I was rating this I, I'd give this a record although it is weird that you have to move your head like that like I don't really know a music rhythm game where you're moving your head that much and you see I missed one <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty stupid, but it's, it's also different, I guess. So I guess that's nice. And I have, uh, like, you really have to move your head a lot. Like, wow. I don't know. You might get whiplash. <laughs> so, yeah, it's stupid, but, you know, it's, I don't know. Some people might like it. Like, if you're a little kid, they might like this more, where you're just moving your head around like that. I don't know. I might get neck strain from playing this, <laughs> this map. So let's go ahead and let's just... Let's just go ahead and play something else for right now. We, I don't want to play. I don't want my video to be all this. As you can see, there's lots of different options here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but see, there's lots of different uh, options for you to play with. Let's exit the environment. Free play is where you want to go. So <laughs> free mode. Here you can select your different environments and you can ch select your own music. So yes, finally. Uh... There's different environments, uh, as you can see, and you do unlock more. I've almost unlocked another one. Like you see, I'm 14 million and 15 million to unlock another one. This one over here. Uh, let's do Dolphin Party. I think y'all might like Dolphin Party. And here you can select songs from your own soundtrack. Now I've added some OSU. I would have added OSU to my computer just to see if it would pick up on those automatically or if I had to. It looks like though, like uh, it didn't pick up my OSU. Huh? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Whoa, and did it crash? I think it crashed, so, ooh, let's try this again. 
Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer, and we're back. The game crashed twice on me. I went ahead and deleted the OSU beatmaps that I had downloaded. Maybe that was causing the problems. I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out, though. Let's uh, let's play Tool 46 and 2. Let's play it on Expert. I'm sorry, on Master Difficulty. And let's see what happens. It says Loading Song. It's not loading. So, I don't know what's going on. I was able to do this earlier uh, with a different song. I don't know, maybe it's this song that's causing the problems? Uh, let's do uh, recent songs, I guess. Quick Access. Recently played. So you see, it really shouldn't have difficulties. Oh. Let's try master for a real hero. I don't know I don't know what's going on, but it was crashing with 46 and 2. 46 46 and 2 is a pretty long song, so maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I believe they're the same audio format though, so it shouldn't be that. The only thing I can think of is that the song length is just too long and it just can't do the procedural generation with it. Which is unfortunate if that's the case. Now I. Uh, I've had issues before with the dev, and every time I've mentioned it to the dev, the dev has fixed it, so maybe he can fix this issue as well. I don't know. All I know is I just, <laughs> I've just come across this issue while trying to do a review for this game, and at some point, like I said, I've already had one other issue that I talked to the dev about. At some point, I just gotta do the review and not wait for a fix to a bug that I encountered. So I am gonna have to take off on the, my review for that, for this game because of that. Unfortunately, I, like I said, I hate to do that to this dev because he's been very responsive. But, you know, this is out of early access. I, I, I don't think these issues should be coming up. So, as much as I like the guy, I still have to do a fair review. And a game that has issues out of early access like this is going to get dinged by me. Regardless of whether he's a nice guy or not. Anyways, I don't want to make a long video, <laughs> and I know I'm going to get a copyright copyright claim from this song here. I think you see the gameplay. Uh, this is the gameplay. There's different modifiers you can do, uh, and let's go ahead and show some of those modifiers. Okay. Sorry, let's go ahead and show some of those modifiers. Okay, so let's say that you don't want to do this type of gameplay, so you want to do something else. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel song. Okay. And you can change around the modifiers, which select new song. Okay, so we were in catch orbs, I believe. Uh, we can do, I don't like the shooting one, so we're just gonna do slice stuff. So you see we got these lightsabers and let's go ahead and do the same song so you can see the difference in gameplay. So same, a real hero, same master level, but this time we're using the slice drops mechanic. Again, you can decide whether this is for you or not. There's also the shooting, which I personally did not enjoy. But see, you have different gameplay types. See how this is playing differently than the other one, which was like sort of like an OSD type gameplay. But you see, even though it is different, it is very similar still. And it seems like the game is just is not running as smoothly as before. I don't know, maybe it's the prior exit, but it, I can tell the game's just not running as smoothly as before, which shouldn't happen.
So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this uh, sword type of, type of gameplay. I think it's done a lot better in Saber. This is very basic. Keep in mind, this is one of the OG music rhythm games, so... At its core, you can tell that it still some has, some has some of those old elements in those original title VR music rhythm games. So let's go ahead and try one more. Okay, I want, I want to show one more. So again, let's uh, cancel. Let's cancel song. And let's go ahead and select new song. We're going to do the same song, but with a different uh, modifier, game mechanic. So let's do shoot balloons. And let's go ahead again. So like I said, I'm not a big fan of the shooting. To me, it's just too many targets. The, the mapping is just wrong. Uh, I don't know how, again, this is Master, but still. Master should be difficult, but it shouldn't be like this where you can barely shoot at stuff just because it's coming at me so fast. That's not the difficulty that we want. There's different ways to make this difficult, but just throwing a bunch of targets at you at the same time is not my idea of difficult, it's just my idea of kind of annoying. So yeah, I don't like this uh, game mode, game mechanic. Anyways, let's uh, quit. <laughs> So yeah, this is Hollow Dance VR. It's available for 20 bucks. Honestly, at 20 bucks, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you're a big OSU fan uh, and you like the ability to have that OSU gameplay into maybe some of your own songs, uh, this does go go hand in hand with OSU, especially if you have not only the beat maps but the songs as well, which is what I didn't have. That's why it didn't work with mine. Uh, this could be something fun. There's lots of different customizations options. And this is one of the OG music rhythm games. But I have to be honest, I really didn't enjoy my time with this game. I think some people might enjoy it more than I do. That's why I'm going to give it a very generous 5 out of 10. A neutral recommendation. But personally, I did not like it. It doesn't stack up to the best music rhythm games in VR. Such as you know, Autica, such as Beat Saber... Uh, Sense Riders, uh, Audio Trip, it, it just doesn't stack up to any of those, not anywhere near close to those top music, VR music rhythm games, and it's kind of like other music rhythm games have just gotten a lot better than this, uh, this was in the early days in VR, this was something a little bit different, and originally I had given this a negative review, then I changed it to positive with some of the changes that I saw, but now I just have to go to neutral. Uh, I think some people might enjoy this if you like OSU type gameplay. You probably enjoy this because the OSU part is probably the most enjoyable part of this game. But the rest of this game from the different modes, you know, the, the shooting modes, the Beat Saber clone mode, the, the story mode are just all subpar. And while I like all the different options, it's not good that there's still bugs in this. So I'm just going to give this a 5 out of 10. I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my review for Hollow Dance VR. If you like my review, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.